Welcome to all football news. Manchester United are back in pre-season training ahead of what promises to be an exciting 2023-2024 campaign. If you want to stay updated to all the latest football news, all you have to do is to subscribe and turn on your notification bell, to get notified almost immediately when I post. Eric Ten Hag and his coaching team are preparing for our first friendly, next Wednesday's game against Leeds United in Oslo. Our cameras were in place at Carrington to capture the moments when the Reds reported for duty, ready for the traditional hard work at this time of the year. Those involved in the end-of-season internationals have, obviously been granted extra time off, to recuperate but there were plenty of familiar faces to greet. Mason Mount's first Manchester United training session. Man United new midfield signing has started work at Carrington as pre-season with his new teammates starts in earnest. Argentina defender Lisandro Martinez is as previously reported training again, after his absence following an operation on his foot. While Donny van der Beek is enjoying a first full session with the main group, on the grass. Brazilians Fred and Anthony posed for a photo and Mason Mount got familiarized with his new surroundings, after completing his move from Chelsea on Wednesday. Goalkeepers Tom Heaton and Dean Henderson were also present, with the latter having spent last season on loan at Nottingham Forest. A number of other loanies are back at base, including Ahmad, Alvaro Fernandez, Will Fish, Hannibal, Machekabar, Charlie Savage and Shola Shortire. Each is back here boosted by a wide range of experiences during their spells away from the club. Defenders Rafael Varane, Aaron Wan-Bissaka and Brandon Williams, plus forwards Anthony Marshall and Jadon Sancho, were also involved, as the manager will already be thinking about his plans for the preseason campaign. The players did testing and screening in the morning before a session in the gym. An outdoor stint on the training pitch followed in the afternoon. Obviously, the academy was well represented with numerous youthful faces, including FA Youth Cup winning captain Reese Bennett. Look out for more updates from Carrington as we count down to getting back in action next week. Thanks for watching, please do like and drop your comment in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated to all latest football news.